Here, 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 you, you boy, oh, you. Man, this music is so funny. Oh, oh, yeah, yo. What's up? Your gunshots are some sort of dying whale. Uh, it's, that was me. Sir. Out of commission. All right, sir. Wow. Okay. Look at that. I want that. I know you can get those. Then a break. Chronicles. Doing another one because I figured why not. Oh, sc it's a scut scene, everybody. It's a scut scene. I thought his eyes were going to come out of his head in, like, anime style. Let me guess, she's like the goofy medic. Damn it! Oh. He's, and he's the, he's the, uh, he's the cocksure pilot. Nice armor. <sighs> Look, I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would you? I recognize oh, that voice. I'm checking. I just seriously doubt. Hey, look at that. The intake exhaust bypass is reversed. Oh Look. man, it's a good thing I caught that. You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Oh, she's the engineer, right? Everything okay? She's the like slightly, slightly ditzy. Good thing you had a rugged engineer. pilot like Doug at the control. Oh, he's a rugged pilot. Oh, hey, Elma. How'd it go out there? And would this be one of the you know who's? Cool. Uh, you know, I'm a person just you like you. You don't have to call me you know who. Then Lee Koo. <laughs> Looks skeptical. Well, there's. Find out what happened with the exhaust. Let's do that one. Sure, why she'd probably be insulted. Uh, yeah. Well, that, uh, doesn't usually happen. She does seem pretty young. We know it doesn't, Lynn. Look, I know what you're thinking. But believe me. Young as she may look, and hey, I wasn't thinking is, that. I thought the other she's thing, in fact. One of our top talents. Most of the time, that is. Most of the time. Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? Yeah. Why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. All right, Doug. I think that'll be all. For sounds you. like a terrible idea. You can idea. clean up here and dock the scale. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Land! Okay, he's not Land! the cocksure pilot. He's just like, he's a rugged guy. We were told by the game. The, go the game informed us that he's rugged. <laughs> that will never not be funny. Can I put her in my team? Hell yeah. Oh, oh, 
Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there they are. What on earth has she got on her back? That thing is huge. Is it like a shield? Or is it a gun? Terrifying, whatever it is. Hey. My little brother just joined the prospectors. He's been a civilian until now, so I'm worried about whether or not he'll be able to handle the duties of a blade. Alright, nice. <laughs> nice. Right, where am I going? There? Where that, exclam where that exclamation point is? Do. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. When the girls go up, they're gonna get me. Yeah. 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 Oh man, come on. Yeah, I definitely should get that though. I still haven't done it. It's going to take me ages to do it. I wanted to record another episode of this, and it's going to take me ages to download it. So. Not huge, but they're big enough that it'll take me a while to download them. come a long way in the last few weeks. There's still so much to be done. One day at a time. That thing is ugly as hell. Speaking of which, we don't really have Wait, time to get the pleasure cruise here. Why don't you give us the express tour then? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district where Doug and I were conducting the, the stinky the, the, the stinky district, the good district, you know, and then the upper crust. So where's the poor it's district? Also where the West Gate is located. Remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the administrative district. I'm skipping ahead. Yeah, whoa, calm down. It's like when you gave me a gun before I even knew my name. Next is the commercial district. Where the hell I was from. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. And underneath us is where the, is the, closest thing to the poor people live, and they come out now and then and take money from us. And by the way, well, Taco Bell is the number one restaurant. Night, I'm just trying to reference... Um, on the planet. Uh, right, do this shit, man. Housing, housing, That's all right. This house is missing from that area. Nice park and the I was at the park. Okay. Alone, want to relax and unwind with a good book. That's the spot. Right? The park is my favorite place to just zone out and chill. Netflix and chill in the park. Music's a little bit louder than the voice, but I didn't see an option to change the volume of those anyway. Home to Blade HQ and the government, not to mention Armory Alley as well as the barracks where we live. The lower level there is a hangar complex for scale maintenance and repairs. You guys are living in a fantasy world. It's a nightmare out there. And this concludes our tour. We will be landing shortly. Thanks, Lynn. We'll save the rest of orientation for that water the barracks. Those mechs look like uh, space marines from Warhammer Forty Five. They don't really. I just wanted to say that. I just want to let you all know that I knew what that was, and if I, I by saying that it would make it, you know, it made me sound cool. So I, I, I mean, basically, I just wanted to sound cool. Love me. Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for flying Lindley Airlines. It was terrible. I didn't, right. I didn't get any Let's food. Let's get you over to the barracks. Then I should file my report. They'll I'm, be eager to hear the details on how I found you. I'm, I'm using sure. I'm using my scouter to 
Well then, look into your clothes right now. Them I have X-ray scouter. The barracks you know are that. pretty close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower. X-ray scouter. What's this? That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. All right. Armory Alley sounds dodgy. <laughs> Sounds super dodgy. Oh, uh. yeah, chill, chill, chill. Damn, man, that looks sweet. Look like gun. Actually, look like something like gun down. Dude, that's badass, man. This guy doesn't know what's wrong with his machine. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to look at him, but I, I wouldn't work. Armory Alley. Ooh. I'm getting distracted. Help. Huh. Quiet. Uh, we sell strange and unusual yeah. stuff my husband picks up out on the job. He's a pathfinder, so he's always finding crazy space junk and whatnot. I don't have anything to show you right now, unfortunately, but check back later. He should be back in a little while with a new haul that'll blow your battle socks clean off. I uh, actually like my socks. Nice Working clothes, hard. doofus. <sighs> the city's in economy has finally sprung to life, and customers are swarming to Armory Alley. I must admit, I'm worried about our future when we were attacked by an unknown enemy and had to crash land on a dangerous world. Thanks for that. <laughs> That's <laughs> weird, 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 weird sentence. But humans are tenacious creatures. It's hard not to appreciate that when you see the level of energy on display here. Yeah, that's true. Loud for me. But I'd rather be a part of this than a mere observer, so I better get to work. Jumping around. The camera's way too close to me. Can I make the camera zoom out? Why am I in first person now? Oh, you can control the camera distance! Well, that is very useful. <laughs> I was I was starting to get really annoying then. Okay, I didn't, that I didn't read anywhere. Now, neither did the game tell me. Game doesn't tell you that much. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. You, you gotta read a lot of it. Hey. Hey. What? <laughs> well. Well. After the horrible fate that befell Earth, some humans have come to resent all xenoforms. Xenoforms. But as a scientist, I can always eager to see examples of life forms who acquired intelligence from a different evolutionary path. From what I understand, they found ruins throughout the planet that suggest intelligent life existed here previously. I always relish opportunities to encounter the unknown. What about you? Is it confirm blade ID? Oh. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Right, it looks like that yellow circle is where I want to go. Cutscene. Cutscene. And here we are, the Blade Barracks. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. What? What am I then? An enemy? A slave? <laughs> Frown and say nothing. I think I can answer that one. Well, I thought it was me for a moment. Oh, look at this guy. So you must be the latest rescue. He's got a scar. He's he's been through stuff. Secretary Nagi. Ms. Cool. Kreinstein. Kreinstein is ready, what sir, for duty. Pep is my middle name. Um, I ran into actually, Judge I believe it's uh, Lin. And he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Anything about today's flight I should know? Oh, I, I tried to gas no. a dude of monoxide? Nothing to worry about. Good. Be sure it stays that way. More importantly, Elma, you found another one. 
Excellent work out there. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now, as for officially registering our new citizen here... Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back to us. I don't even... I mean, I, I barely know my own name. I'll put on some tea. I don't even know where I'm from. And I got given a gun. I started killing things. and I think I might have... Um, I, may, I think I might have scarring in my brain. I think I might be damaged. I haven't said a word since I got out of the pod. <laughs> I'd be more worried about that. If I was them, I'd be more worried about the fact that he hadn't said a single word since coming out of that pod. Can you speak? Oh, no. Oh, no, he's, he's got link link linkitis? Linkitis, he can only communicate in grunts and shouts. Blade. Headquarters. This is a long... That's a, that's a long shot of silence. This is a really awkward pause. My name is Kentaro Nagi. Hello, you Kentaro. You may remember me as Captain of the White Whale. Nope. But now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. Oh, God, he's going to be bad, isn't he? He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. <laughs> he likes to do stuff under the... He, he like, likes right money, uh... Grade. He seems capable. Money under the table, you know. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. <laughs> Let's just sign him up for the army he or whatever the hell plate is. Some form of memory loss. <laughs> memory loss? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He could barely remember his name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it, the entire lot of us have only been on this planet for what? Two months? I've been in there for it two It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. He's probably got a wife who's like, well, I think my husband's dead. We and he's just wandering around. Ask how we ended up on Mira. I know how we did. Ask more people about Blade. Ask about Registry. Let's do... Uh, that one. Ah, uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you Mental health is in tatters, man. As Help me. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. Hmm. Come on then. We'll do them all, I guess. It started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien civilizations. Yeah, the lipstick's pretty bad. Well, I mean, this is Japanese thing of them English voiceovers. It's been out since like April we like in Japan. God, I hate that shit, man. All it does the is encourage copyright. Why they fucking do that stuff? Blown away. I still wonder if I hadn't been there. Piracy, not copyright. Well, it does is, is, is encourage co uh, piracy, not co no encourage copyright. What that makes sense? What we do know. Is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus, and no escape for any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here, and we are alive. We survived. <laughs> so yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, my guy looks so we weird. needed a plan to preserve all her various life Should forms. Should be my guy purple. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. Long, hard years. But we clung to our mission, find a habitable planet, and settle there. We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. 
The Xenoforms found us again, and well, it was. He's speaking of saying Xenomorphs, human. like alien. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. For better and for worse, we were close to Planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. That was weird. Why did it fade to white and then him, his face and then to white? Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Her eyes make it look like a robot. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Okay, then clarify. Clarify me a couple of things. Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Oh, wow. Of Earth. <laughs> Quite fitting, I think. Yeah, it's definitely it's a lot... Relatively it's new definitely good that you put an acronym instead of that name. in space, we had plenty of provisions. It's a relatively and a crew new... And trained yeah. to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But, of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police... The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own. So Blade was born. Blade. The idea was to have one central They didn't get they didn't, they didn't waste time like branding Blade everywhere. Two months. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the life hold. What's that? Take a look at this. The white whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in uh -huh. stasis, all housed in a structure called the life hold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the life hold. Are in the life hold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. They're not waiting, you know, they're in stasis. But they don't know what's going on. Problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. So I wasn't military, but I'm just really good of a gun. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Koo, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Ms. Cuckoo. Take our guest Cuckoo Kachu. Perhaps a tour of the administrative district. Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of story here. Story mission, chapter one. Take a guy to tour the Blade Administrative District with Lynn and Bellman. Learn more. Okay. I guess we're doing that. I guess that's what we're going to be doing this episode is touring this area. So you like you head towards the yellow arrows on the map. It's like go that way. That's what it's saying. <laughs> That's what it's telling me. It says go that way. A voice, a voice reached, reached out to me and told me to go that way. I don't, I don't understand. I just don't understand. Give them then you do like a magnum face, lips out, pouty lips. Fish lips, you know. You know, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative. Hey, district. listen, I'm fucking Kreinstein, yeah. all right? Nagi must really, really want him to join Blade. 
I think Nagi knows who I am. Is a bit different from the other districts. I think we were lovers, and he's like, when he realized we've forgotten the memories, he's like, place, oh, that's why he flight. didn't recognize me. Get a load of that skill. Even the way that they walk is so cool. Oh, yeah, work it, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Ugh, oh, oh, that cringe. <laughs> cringe. That was weird. She just got... Gaze longingly at the skull. What? You don't remember what a skull is? I don't remember. I don't even know I came from Earth. Dude, by? how am I? You're right. Like, like the most incredible awesome yeah, I don't remember where. I don't remember I came from Earth, but I, I do remember skull. Pedal and vehicular transformations. Sorry, just I get so excited whenever I think about it. Originally, scales were developed as a defensive measure. To counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. Now they're just here for intimidation purposes. Still, just look around you. New LA has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. Yeah. We could never have come so far so fast without scale technology. I'd love to get you into one to see for yourself, but it's not that simple. Well, yeah, duh. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scales. Well, I'm being a blade. Even then, you need a license. I need a license to pilot scales? These are toys we're talking about. They're complex machines with powerful weapons. And they're a precious resource. We only have so many of them to go around. You're lecturing me like I asked if so I could yes, ride one. as you might imagine, the certification process is a fairly rigorous one. I'm sure you're thinking, where do I sign up for the test? Mm -hmm. But it's not that simple. No, oh, never they is. choose you, not the other way around. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. There is some criteria. The details are largely hidden, but basically, HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the test. <laughs> oh god, macho Way man. To go above and beyond in their cream of the crop! And for the people Ooh, of New LA yeah, in baby. general. I'm the cream so of the crop. If you become a blade and work hard... I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. Speaking of work, Cream that of the reminds crap. me. I need to get a match Why don't we check out the mission control board first? That's where we take on our assignments. Good call. Let's head on over. I feel like I'm being shoehorned into being a Blade member. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, you want to check it out? Oh, hey, see that cool mech? You can only write that if you're a Blade member. Hey, let's go check out where Blade members get their, you know, their, uh, their cool missions and stuff. Hey, you know what's really cool? Blade. Do you know where you are right now? You're in a Blade area. Normally people don't, outside of Blade, they don't get to come check this place out. So this you want to join Blade? Control. We don't have a dispatch system yet, so Blades usually choose their own assignments. I really wish I wasn't a silent protagonist. Everyone comes here and selects from the like missions that. available on the board. And it's not just official Blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. Like, I'm actually yeah, pretty happy for Fallout 4 that you have a voice. It's done in New LA, so the board is constantly updating. Just about every Blade will stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of Blades around here, blowing off steam or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console. If the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Hey. All right. Do what they tell me to do. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. Let me try this again. I gotta go here. Yes? No, never mind. Is this from Sister Girl? There we go. Jeez, man. The Blade Scout Console. When the going gets tough, the tough go to the Scout Console. You know, to get tougher. 
We can zoom out quite a lot. Joining us, you'll quickly realize just how important <laughs> this little kiosk is. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles nice for bum. just such an occasion. You can't spell blade without team. Sort of. Anyway, no. awesome, right? You can, you can so definitely you spell blade without team. <laughs> Hang on, Lynn. Take it easy, would you? <laughs> Seriously! Well, I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot what is to this? join blade. Come on! Or maybe a crazy person. What, like, this is not my oh, decision. You are so I forcing me. Might be pressuring our guests. Yes! Apologies You'd have to be insane not to join well, us. How about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. I'm to free will. What is this? I don't like this place. I feel like I'm in... I feel like I'm in some sort of Orson Welles nightmare. Orson Welles. Is he the one that wrote that book? Maybe. Head to the armory. All right. Hey. Might as well get this like tutorial stuff done. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. Blades can requisition equipment from any of the vendors here. I won't lie. Most blade members blade. face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. Uh, actually, true enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for skell equipment as well. You can even buy whole skells. Can you imagine owning your own skell? You just told me that I had to go uh, for the rigorous process of... Huh? Oh, right, the torch. What? Hang on a minute. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. Like, I thought I had to go for the rigorous... Okay, whatever. You know what? It's all good. Hey! Hey! Oh, dude. I hope other people can jump like that. Can these not do that? I don't see them doing any, like, outrageous jumping. Really? Listen. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't want any new. Oh, yeah. So, Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher-ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders, too. They're based in the tower. Oh, okay. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Chausson, for example. Blades sometimes report to the leadership... Oh, I have to fire. I'm going to mute the microphone. Assignments. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for... I, I like to tell people like when so, stuff's happening in my body. What do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? Joining Blade? You can't wait to join Blade, right? Oh my god, seriously. Okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. Yeah, ser like, seriously, she's We're me right now. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us. I still feel like I'm being railroaded, even now by you, actually. Where and how we work. Hopefully it made a good impression. Now let me show you what happens when you don't join Blade. <laughs> See this toilet? This is your life and case, your let's fun. Let's back to the barracks. Secretary Nagi will be waiting. All right, that was interesting. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. This soundtrack is hilarious. Where's the. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I think that'll do me for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. I still got the gun. Like nobody's taking this gun. Oh yeah! Come on, do the oh yeah! I'm not gonna end it till I get the oh yeah. Well, this is different. Oh yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Is it coming? Oh man, this sucks. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like. It does help me out. More Xenoblade Chronicles coming up in the next day or two. But until then... Aw, oh, yeah. See you, ne see you next time. Bye-bye.